Good morning, you sexy sons of bitches. Nice to see you again. Thank you for waiting for me. Thank you for being patient with me on these days in the life of jackknives. We're getting back into the swing of it, and uh, I'm very happy about it. Today should be a action-packed day. Hopefully, knock on wood. We'll see what happens. But, uh, got a couple hours of sleep. About four hours, I think, so we're about ready to take on the day. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. I know hopefully we're going to get my car. I don't know when we're going to get the car, so that'll be good. And show you a couple other cool things that we do throughout the day. And it is Friday. We've been beating the Friday curse for about four weeks. We'll see if we can beat Friday curse. The new curse is Monday. Monday. What a nightmare, bro. But it is Friday, curse. We'll see what we do with it. Hopefully we whip snap it into, you know, we whip snap it out of the atmosphere. But um, anyway, let's get on with our day. Let's get rocking. Let's get rolling. You know, hopefully use these as motivation for your life or use these videos for whatever you do, you know. But uh, let's start kicking some ass. Let's get up. I'm looking at a couple of dishes I got to clean, which... Not that exciting, but uh, I got to get my kids out to school, and then hopefully we get a phone call. Come get your car. Oh, that'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. Thank y'all for rocking with Day in Life with Jackknife. I'll see you in a little bit. Let's go. Normally, by this time, I'd be going live, and I still might go live. I'm not really sure I want to go live, but right now I'm actually making a pizza in the oven. I just heard back from the dealership about my car, and it, I told them I need a car, no matter what, I need a car. You can fix mine or what, and the guy goes, well, I'm waiting on your part, and I'm like, well, I thought you had the part last night, I thought you were putting it in. Well, something went wrong. We broke your key, I got to replace your key, so he's replacing the key. I mean, obviously, if you fucking broke it, you better replace it. I'm not fucking paying for your breaking my key, you know what I mean, that just makes sense, so don't act like you're doing me a favor by replacing a key that you fucking broke, you know what I mean, but the funny thing is, like, yeah, I broke a key, so I'm gonna replace that for free, and I'm thinking, well, yeah, you, you got really no fucking choice, like, I'm not paying for some shit that you broke, that's not my fucking problem, that's your problem, and then he goes, well, I'm waiting on your part, and I'm like, okay, so I'm not going to get a vehicle by 2 o'clock. So how am I going to get my kids? What's going on? He goes, well, your part might take about two to three weeks. What the fuck? Where are you? Are you walking to fucking Egypt to get this part? Where are you fucking going to get this part, bro? Where? Are you walking to the location? Are you strapping it on a fucking turtle that's bringing it in? Two to three weeks? I'm like, I need a fucking car, bro. And he goes, let me call you back in 30 minutes. We'll probably have a car for you. And this and that. You better have a fucking car. Two to three fucking weeks? I could go call fucking Earl down the road or fucking Jethro and the boys. And they'll have that part by the fucking noon. They'll have that thing by tomorrow. Where the fuck are you getting this part from, bro? What are you doing? Two to three, can you believe this shit, bro? Can you believe it? I can't believe it. So now I got to sit here and wait for 20, 30 minutes. And I already know goddamn well he ain't going to call in 20, 30 minutes. He won't. He's going to make me wait all fucking day. When I could have went live, not be stressed out. But no, that's not how they operate. They want you to be stressed out continuously. And it annoys me. When I'm stressed out, I don't like to work because then it shows in my work, and I don't like that. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's nerve-wracking. Like, I, I got to get my kids. I have no way of getting my kids. <laughs> I, I have none. You know what I mean? Like, uh Got to be fucking kidding me. So I apologize for not putting out content today. I'm stressed to the fucking max, okay? This is the life of a content creator. And I don't know what content creators show of, you know, show you guys... They pretty much show you like a minute of their life or maybe five minutes of their life. 
this is my real life. This is the shit I'm going through, bro. And uh, it sucks. So, welcome to A Day in the Life of Jackknife. If you are enjoying this series, leave a like, put down a comment, subscribe, share with your friends. But, what a fucking day. The car company called me, and they're sending a lift to come pick me up. So I had to get dressed up a little bit. Had to get the beanie on. Had to get on my, my comfy. Put on some jeans. Put on some socks. Put on my shoes. And, you know, present myself in a decent manner. I can't wear pajama. I mean, I could wear pajama pants. Normally I would, but I want to dress up a little bit. You know what I mean? Let these people know that I'm a little bit of a dignified human being. You know what I'm saying? But I got a lift coming for me. And then they're going to put me in a car for two to three weeks. <laughs> what a, oh man, what a, what a, I don't know, man. Normally this dealership is a spot on that you put their, your car in there, they get it done. This is like a freak move. You know what I mean? I'm not going to talk bad about them because this is like a freak move. Normally they get things done, they get it happening, but this experience has been hell. It's been hell, and it sucks. But they're trying to rectify it, so that's cool. I got to bring another set of keys up there. Hopefully, they don't wreck that set, because if they do, they're going to owe two sets of keys. And then I got to bring my ID. I got to bring a credit card. I'm not going to lie, guys. I only got like $50 on the credit card, but they don't know. They said they're not going to charge it, but if they charge it, <laughs> it ain't working. But you know what, bro? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pay the credit card off. Don't worry. I will. It might take a while, but I'll pay it off. But there's about 50 bucks on there. You know what I mean? Don't act like you ain't got a credit card sitting around with like 50 bucks on it or not even have any money on it. And you use that bitch. Don't lie to me, bro. Don't lie to me. You know what I'm saying? We're all just trying to live. We're all just trying to live, bro. But uh, I got to watch out for my lip. See what we got going on. And then I get to ride with a stranger. Ooh, it's going to be a good time. I like I like riding with strangers. I don't get uneasy. You know what I mean? I always start up a conversation. Last time they had a guy come and get me, he barely talked. He wasn't even a, he was a, he was a worker there. He wasn't a Lyft guy. But he barely talked. And he would look at me and go, so uh, what do you do for a living? And I'm like, well, I'm a blackjack dealer. That was back when I used to work at the casino. Oh, you like that blackjack? And I'm like, Blackjack, yeah, that goddamn Blackjack, it cost me so much goddamn money, those dealers are pieces of shit. And I'm like, sir, I'm right here. And it's Blackjack. Yeah, I don't know how to play that Blackjack. Well, that's why you're fucking losing. You're blaming people like us that are turning the cards. You're saying hit, you're saying stay. That's all you're doing. And you're blaming us because you don't know what you're doing. And it's fucking Blackjack. Learn how to say it. Black Jack is not hard. Black Jack, not back Jack, not backpack, not fucking hunt pack, not whatever the hell you're saying. You're driving me nuts. It was a 30 minute ride of hell. So hopefully this ride, this lift guy is dope. Hopefully he's like a younger dude that plays a lot of cool music. I don't really want an older dude that plays a bunch of funky shit. But we'll see what happens. I'll let you know how the lift ride goes. Got the car, and now I'm at Walmart trying to figure out what I want for dinner. And I'm going to put that on the what, uh, what's for dinner on jackknife fitting and cooking. I might even do a cooking tutorial showing you guys how to make some pretty sweet chili. But I uh, just got to get a couple things here, and then I'm going uh, to dip, skip, get back home, and hopefully go live or do something. I got to get my kids. Wait till you see the vehicle they got me in. Now, normally when they put you in a rental vehicle, it's usually a badass vehicle because they want you to come back. They want you to buy the vehicle. That's usually what they do. It's kind of like their, their little hustle is they put you in a badass car in hopes that you want to, um, you know, buy it. This car, I don't want to buy this shit. <laughs> I mean, you know what? It's not nothing bad, but I mean, at least it's something, you know what I mean? But... You know, it gets the job done. Can't complain. I could, but I'd be an ungrateful asshole. So I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to take what they give me. But I'm going to show you guys what I got. You ain't going to believe this shit. But 
like I said, just getting some stuff for dinner and I will see you in a little bit. I am in a Volkswagen Tau. Let me show you that. Check this out. So the steering wheel, it's heated. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I never thought I'd want a, a heated steering wheel, but you know. They didn't bother cleaning it for me. They told me that it was too cold to clean it. You know what? I'm not going to cry about it, but hey, it is what it is. I'll show you guys what the outside looks like when I uh, leave to go get my kids. I got to get inside and start whipping up some dinner. I'm going to make some three bean chili. So if you want to know how to make that, go to my uh, cooking channel. It's listed down on my channels. Check it out. Also, what's for dinner will be on there as well. That's on Jack Knife Fitting and Cooking, so check that out. It's a down on all the channels, all that good jazz. This is my home for a month. This is it. No sunroof. I love that. That's awesome. I can't complain, bro. I, 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 I can't complain. You could have not got a vehicle. You know what? You're 100% right. So you know what? I am grateful for this vehicle. Thank you for this vehicle. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I am thank you. I'm not going to complain because I could have gotten nothing. And that would have been SOL for a month. So thank you. And thank you for the heated steering wheel. Comment down below. Do you have a heating steering wheel? Because I never thought I'd ever use it, like it. Never thought I'd even have one. But I got one for a month. And my God, it's nice to have a heated steering wheel. Now I know what you're thinking. If you live in like a hot place or it's the summertime, a hot steering wheel ain't good. Because chances are if you got a hot steering wheel, you got a hot ass, your butt cheek is sweating, you're under your shirt sweating, you're not looking good, you're not smelling good, I get it. But if you live where I live, in the tundra, a heated steering wheel is like, well, it's kind of like sex. Not that intense, but you know what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's a good feeling. It's like, come and hug me. You know, wrap your hand. Okay, now it's getting weird. Okay, but you know what I mean. It, it's good. It's a good vibe. I like it. All right, I gotta hurry up and get in and start cooking. I'll see you in a little bit. Cool thing, I actually found a gift certificate for Walmart, twenty-five dollars. So my dinner tonight only costs two dollars and seventy-seven cents with the gift card. That's fresh, bro. That's winning already. I gotta let my dog in. My dog is freezing. I got six Chihuahuas, and you guys will meet them. They are a handful, they are annoying, but I love them. All six of them. I'm over here getting some gas, and the grocery store is literally right there. Yesterday I had an order online, and because I had no vehicle, and I didn't have no way of getting groceries, so I ordered online and had people bring them to me. And I was thinking about going home and ordering online and having people bring some things to me tonight, and I'm like, I just can't do it. I can't do it. Like, the grocery store is right there. I'm an able body. You know, like, I like last night, I had no way of getting groceries. It made sense. But the fact that I'm an able body, I can walk, I can grab things, I can exercise, I can do all those things. I feel guilty ordering it and having someone bring it to my house, knowing damn well that I can do all that by myself. I can't be the only one, bro. I can't be the only one. Like, you know how when you're at, like, a, a Walmart or a grocery store and you see someone in a motorized car and you know damn well that person can walk? And it aggravates you because it's like, get off your ass and walk. Quit being a bum, riding around in a scooter. You probably need to walk. So get off your ass and walk. Unless you got some form of, like, a gout or some... Some disability that doesn't prevent you from walking. Then it makes sense. But if you're an able body, why not? Why not? You know what I mean? I can't be the only one. But man, I feel like an asshole. There is a guy out here pumping air into his bike tire. And the sad thing is that air thing doesn't work. It hasn't worked in like six months. But it might work in his case. Because... The air is not going to come out, you know, really fast. So it might work in his case. You got to give him credit, bro. He's out here pumping air in, in a bike at, what, negative five degrees out? That's dedication. That's dedication. 
damn. <laughs> I'm over here thinking like, should I have someone bring my groceries? This man's out here pumping air and a bike tire. Yep, I'm going in and I'm getting my groceries. I ain't being a fucking lazy ass. After looking at this dude, how can, no, nah, no, nah, I'm getting my damn groceries. I'll see you in a minute. And you thought I went home and ordered groceries, didn't you? Hell no, I brought my ass right into this grocery store. Man, it's dark outside. It's only like six o'clock. Dang. Well, we're gonna take the, the new towel that we got for the month. We're gonna go and pick up the wife, get home and uh, eat some chili, get ready for the stream. Uh, you know, unwind for a little bit, hang out with the wife, and then unwind with the wife, and then uh, go live. And um, hopefully we have a banger of a day. Hopefully we have a banger of a night. Uh, you know, it is a Friday curse, so let's see what happens. But uh, thank you all for sticking it with me today. I appreciate it. This is a day in the life of Jackknife. Well, we ended that stream last night. And it was, you know, it was an audible. I called it at the last last minute. Um, I was going to do GTA 5 online, but then I seen this other game. What the hell is that? Dry skin? Jesus Christ. But I um, I seen this other, you know, game that was trending, and um, it caught my eye on TikTok, and it was trending on YouTube, and I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's try it out, because YouTube told me I would rank high for that game. Even though I didn't really rank high, we met a couple new people, but not, not a lot of new people. But it was a pretty solid game. We had 100, 130 in there consistently, which is really good, especially for a new game and so on and so forth. But, um, yeah, it really, games like those, it makes you wonder, you know what I mean? Like, when you do Grand Theft Auto V, you get like 150, 200, 220 people. That's awesome. And then when you do other games, you get like 150, 100. And you could say, well, it's the real ones. It's the real ones. And it might be the real ones. That might be right. But I always preach, you know, hashtag support the streamer, not the game. And it's always nice to see people come to other games. Because then you know, it's like, okay, well, they support you for you. Um, they're not there for a video game. And then it's like, it's such a, a tight rope. You know what I mean? It's like... I don't know, it's a, it's a tightrope, and there's not really much you could say about it. You just got to deal with it, stream it, deal with it. Eventually, things will come out of it, you know what I mean? But we did, I think we did it, we did really good. I think it was a pretty good stream. We almost got like 2,000 views, that's pretty awesome. So, you know what, it is what it is. So, we got through with it, we got done with it, now uh, we got to begin a new day, so... Thank y'all for rocking with a day in life with Jackknife, and I will see you later on today. Let's go.